Beer with Alton. Beer with Alton. Hey everybody, welcome back to Beer with Alton. I'm Alton. This is with. This is Joel, my friend. <laughs> uh, Joel and I. How long have we known each other now, Joel? Uh, since oh geez, since 2012. 2012. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. So 10 years. Yeah, we used to work together at a different in a different um, a different walk of life. Uh, but uh, what are you doing with yourself now these days? I well, I drink a lot of beer. Okay, good uh, for you. <laughs> with with other people, and now I'm happy to be drinking one with yeah. you again. For yes. you know, it has been a while. Um, and you know, just living the dream in Southern California. There's right. not really much else to say other than that. You know. So when I think of you, I always think of. Uh, I know you have a really good skill set of like of doing videography and things like that. Editing. Are you still doing stuff like that? Yep, I still do this. I still do stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I do it professionally, which is kind of fun because I didn't do that for a long time, but I went to school for it. You know, it was one of those things where I went to school and. Ended up doing the thing I went to school for, oh. which uh, doesn't happen to a lot of us. Not most of my <laughs> friends, you know, or even my parents, <laughs> Indeed. for that matter. Well, um, uh, many moons ago now, probably five years ago or so, right? You used to have a podcast called Beer with Pleasant Strangers, and I was on the podcast. I was a pleasant stranger, or a stranger. I wasn't. I might not have even been that pleasant. But at any rate, we did it together. Yeah, we did, and uh, we w we visited your previous uh, residence where yeah. you had your uh, your microbrew set up in your garage, yeah. which was. Uh, and I don't know if you've spoken about it on here before, where you used to basically, during Halloween, have a have a yeah have, have, <laughs> have, have, have treats for the kids and for the parents. Yes. You know, you have some homebrew recipes that you did specially for Halloween. Uh huh. Well, I don't get to do that that much anymore because we have a different kind of neighborhood that I ah. think might frown <laughs> on me giving beer out at Halloween. But uh, I still uh, drink a lot of beer here in my domicile. Today we're gonna drink another one. So what'd you bring? You brought this is this is something you brought on your own. I brought um, you know uh, death. I brought death. Uh, you know, look, uh, this is uh, actually the name of the beer. It's the called death. Of death. death. Okay, yeah, here, let's it's, see. Uh, it's from a beer camp brewery you called no Northern Monk. Northern, um, and and this is from the UK, like legit. Right? Yeah, they're in Leeds or something. I don't okay. know. They're, they're, yeah, they're across the pond. Um, and this is just their once a year uh, an annual Imperial Stout. Uh, okay. This is the 2022 vintage. So the current vintage. I've never had this before. I have no idea what it is. All right, let's like. get into it, man. I, will go, I mean, I have uh, some idea what it's probably going to taste like, but I have never had sure. it before. Sure, sure, sure. And if you're like like me, I know a lot of people have gotten to craft beer. This was one of the first styles that they were like, ooh, they really liked. It was, a, it was an imperial stout, like an imperial Russian stout or an oatmeal stout. Uh, these dark, thick beers. This is one of the first styles that you got into when you started drinking craft brew? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think that's unique, actually. I think most people don't start. Most people are afraid of this. They tend to, they tend to like beer, and then once they like beer, they're like, let's try something that yeah. might put hair on my chest. Yeah, I was always grossed out by, like, my dad would always give me sips of beer when I was a kid and stuff, but I was always grossed out by it. But it was always, like, I don't know, you know, Dosa Keys or something like that. Yeah. And then the first time I had a beer that I liked, it was a milk stout. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's my favorite beer to make, actually, milk stout. In fact, when my dad passed away... I made a milk stout for him that I call Big Ale. Oh, right there. far out. Yes, yeah. Is that him on the label? Ever That's my dad him? on the label, yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, let's let's get into it. Joel, cheers. Thanks cheers. Thanks for coming out, man. I'll let you go first. What do you think? Oh, okay. I mean, I, I like I said, I, I, I had some idea what it was going to taste like, but this is... Um, to me, this because like I said, this was one of the styles I got into early on. This teleports my brain straight back to like 2013, mm -hmm. when I went to Stone Brewery, which was in you know right in the neighborhood where I live, close by where you used to live yep. too, and they had an Imperial Russian Stout, just straight Imperial Russian Stout that they bottled once a year that you could get, and uh, this reminds me a lot of that. And it's fresh, so it's a, it's it's yep. meant to be drank like now fresh um, but back in the back in the day when I went to Stone the employees there were like you know try putting it in a cupboard for nine months and drink it nine months from now and see how it changes and that was my introduction to aging beer as well Interesting. slippery slope uh, so I get chocolate right off the top that's the first thing I noticed I, I don't know what do you think but it it tastes a little bit uh, more carbonated than a typical um, imperial stout to me it, uh, to me, it hits that sweet spot because it, um, it is it is carbed up pretty For good. What it's worth, I like it that way. I just yeah. feel like, particularly uh, beer from England tends to have a, a, a you know a little bit less carbonation. But you know, it has a nice tingle, and and it's more it's like a finer. The head kind of hmm. didn't last for a super long, but um, yeah, it's definitely dark chocolate. A little bit of those coffee notes that you get. So let's see you it know, there. Uh, yeah, great color. You can see through the glass, but not through the beer. Yeah, and. Uh, I don't get like a, some some stouts give me like a, a 
particularly milk stouts, like a coating on the tongue, but I don't get that here. It kind of comes and goes. No, it's not too tannic either, so it doesn't strip your tongue too much. It does. It has a nice lingering aftertaste that I like a lot. Cool. And uh, if, if they had this in like six packs, I would have bought a six pack or a 12 pack even probably because I could see myself uh, having this again. There's only so much death you can take at one time. So just a little death <laughs> here and there. Okay, Joel, thanks for coming out. Everybody, get your hands on some death. <laughs> this one is good, I promise. Uh, hey, and uh, be sure to click like and subscribe. Come on back. We'd love to see you. Cheers. Thank you, my friend. Thanks for having me on.